we got our battle ropes. We get the ropes off the hooks there. We come over here. We're gonna thread it underneath and then have the carabiner right back on itself. Boom, you're ready to go. So we're gonna do a series of movements here. I'm gonna bring my cheat sheet. <laughs> We're gonna do what we call fast, fast waves, right? So we're gonna try and go uh, really quickly, but have a low amplitude with it. So whether I have my hands here or here, they look like this. For the prescribed number of time uh, or reps. We can do, well, I'll try and go in order how I have these listed. We can do hourglass. So I'll try and make, an hourglass shape while the rope is still on the floor. Biggest mistake here is people take all the slack out of the rope, leave some slack in there. So I'm kind of moving my hands out and then in. Maybe we can see with the camera here too, kind of that hourglass shape. Working in through there. After our hourglass, we go to high wiggers. Now we're trying to create a tsunami with the rope. And you're gonna see more through the legs and the arms here too as we're going through this. Alright, after our highways. Life is a highway. We're gonna do circles. We're gonna go circles moving away from our body. Look at something like this. And then from circles, we're going to do side winders. So now, both arms, body, legs are moving in the same direction. Get this thing going, and we're rocking side to side. Here's that side winder. Not to be confused with hourglass, right? That's hourglass. Here's side winders. And then finally, Bit of an overhead press. Walk in a little bit from here. Keep the rope off, the rope down there, off the ground, and start pressing. And you'll think at some point you got 65 pounds overhead. Lots of 